All right, the boat's in place. Channel markers up. This is bifurcated boat, take two. May that he split it. In three, two, one, hit it. The tow boats accelerate, and the Mythody split takes off. Where's the boat? Oh, the rope's tensioning. Boat's away. Oh, here it comes. Wow, look at the line. Slowly speeding up to the mythical 25 miles per hour. Here comes the motor. That looks so crazy. Ghost oh. boat. It's beautiful. But will the channel marker finally make its mark? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Here it goes! Headed straight for the pier! Oh! <laughs> what the <laughs> heck? We just took <laughs> the pillar down! That was the wrong thing to split! The marker just got split in the middle of the pier going. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. I didn't I either. I didn't see that coming that either. Is, that's not how it happened in the myth. <laughs> That was a good shot, though. It hit it right on the bow. But it did not split the boat in half. That is the most important thing. That's the important thing. Important because in that shocking split-second impact, the tables on this myth turn. The marker bifurcated, and the myth that he split refused to live up to its name once again. So the whole reason for this revisit is that fans said that without water, our original tests were invalid. You know what? They were right. See, the resistance of the water kept the boat going straight on impact without glancing off. However, the energy of the impact caused the pole to break and not the boat. So, ultimately, it's the same result. The busted myth. Just a slightly different way of getting there. Now, they say the two of the happiest days of a boat owner's life is the day he buys the boat and the day he sells it. But I won't be happy until we cut that boat in half. Yep, it ain't over until the myth that he split splits.